Hi guys, what's going on? RJ here with you for a King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match Online video. And it's a special New Year's Eve edition where this game is more screwed up than I am right now. And we're going to get into what a wonderful... Oh, what a wonderful character... Oh man, what a wonderful character this Shunny boy is because Shunny, Shunny is getting released on Global and he's coming today, today, and so I wanted to pop out a video on Shunny and somebody was like, yo, why are you making a video? And I'm like, probably because like I'm like drinking and shit. And, you know, it's like, what a perfect time to make a video, you know, so, I don't know. Shunny is here. That Shunny. Um, and the thing is, I'll get to all this stuff in a second. Look, even, even this thing. Read this with me. Any fighter dying restores 55 rage. Attack restores ton of reggae. Okay, they can't even... They didn't even do this right. Okay. Just so many things are wrong. I, this, this, the developers have, like, really screwed up badly in the past couple of days. With some of the things. But Shunny, Shunny Boy, he's an Aptitude 15 fighter. He's a DPS. His feature is Rampage Elemental Power. It's pretty cool. He has high crit and high crit power. Um, long story short, this guy is basically like the New Age K. Um, if you thought K was like a, a super assassin when he came out because he was like super high crit damage and like one shot people um, just right through a row and smash people that's basically what Shunny's gonna do but on like an API 15 level um, he does some good damage so his fates you got how crucial with Shunny, Tung Fu, Ru, and Terry 2003. That's, you know, API 15 in there. Don't chase. You know, Talented, Shunny, Athena, and Bao. Popular. Who cares? Like, fuck, you'll probably have this stuff, right? Dazzling Badge, Super Power Tome. You know, whatever. I don't even think I'll be able to read these because they're just... I don't know what's right in these skills. I'll show look, I'll show you guys why right now. I'm not even gonna read all these things. Rampage power. Increase on crit. Shunny will gain the power of water or fire when he's in the front or rear. Like he he gets different powers depending on if you place him in the front row or if you place him in the back row, right? Power of fire increases on twenty percent damage. All attacks against targets will cause an extra five percent of their total HP loss. And converts 30% of all damage to restore own HP after enhancement. Um, increases on 20% crit. Where the hell is power of water? Where Where is um, his rampage ability? Or I guess they want to call it enhancement. Even though it's called rampage power. He has a rampage. Um, and the power of water. Um... This is only like a third of his passive ability. It, it's just, it's not here. Um, do they actually have it here? Yeah, front. This is a taste of like what his water abilities do. Releases different skills according to his different, where, where he's placed. So if he's, a, if he's in the front row, if you have him placed in the front row, his skill will do something different. Aqua Spear, it's water based, right? Strikes a single target with 40% chance to stun, enhances power of water, and increases damage by 8% of target's current HP. Increases randomly 3 allies, 20% restore rage ability in 2 rounds. So like, you know, 
it's okay. You know, chance to stun. You know, and hit. You know, increases damage, restores rage. You know, three allies they get restore power. You know, and in the rear row, um, he gets the rising effect. If if read, rising if read. Oh come on, guys. Strikes a single target with 40% chance to stun, so 40% chance to stun no matter where he is. Enhances power of fire and increases damage by 8% of target's current HP. Increases randomly 3 allies 20% HP drain in 2 rounds. 4 2 rounds, I guess. Um, you know what, I just... Man... This whole thing just annoys me, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's just let's just go over to where is it? Let's just go over to KOFBA. Okay. Call him instant, but shunny. Let's just let's just look at his stuff here as to what he's actually supposed to do, right? His skill ability. Um Front row, attack with water, 40% chance to stun, 8% additional damage to the current target's current health. Okay, so the skill the skill seems right. Okay, the skill ability's right for that. Okay, okay. So maybe not everything's screwed up. The skill's right. Okay, other than Ifrit, but the skill is right. So then we'll go to his ultimate here. Strikes a column, so right across. I call it a row, because it goes right across. If there's a rear target, it enhances the skill after Rampage and causes 20% extra damage against the rear, increases own 15% attack and defense, and absorbs 20% uh, of the target's rage restore speed. Uh, gain different effects according to different power if he has the power of water So if he's on the front row, he restores all allies HP by 70% of his attack power and Power of fire causes every target uh, extra 70% attack power damage um, so I'll, I'll tell you this right now Using him front row to use him as like a tank slash healer thinking like oh, you know He might be okay because he has like front row abilities. It sucks Okay, restore all allies HP by 70% of your attack Okay, I just I have to point this out right now. Look at my nightmare geese. Okay. He has 295,000 attack Okay, right now. I think the most attack you're gonna see is like 300 and something thousand attack even at that attack level, if you put that on Shunny, 70% um, of that sucks, okay? To get a heal on your team for like, what, 140, 210,000 HP, um, that's worse than the Strike or Athena heal um, overall. Um, it's, it's not a good heal. Um, but when you when you factor it in as attack power onto an ultimate, um, adding in an extra two hundred and ten thousand damage on top of the other damage modifiers um, with his ultimate, uh, yeah, it, it it actually does a lot more damage. Um, so using him in the front row is just absolutely insane i i don't i don't think there's a reason to use him in the front row if you're going to be getting this guy he's going to be your back row damage dealer um he 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 is strong don't don't think that he isn't um he is an api 15 after all but yeah the power of fire it, it, it is actually really good um and i just want to look at kofba here for a second here let's look at it together um, attack a row of targets. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. And the thing is with the weapon, um, it causes 30% additional damage to the back row instead of 20% additional damage to the back row. 
and increases your own 20% um, attack and defense. Um, and then that'll turn to 100%, I think. Yeah. So with the weapon, um, these things turn to 100% of attack, and even at 100% of attack, like 300,000 health, healing everybody, it's not, I don't know, um, unless you have a healing team or something. I don't, I don't see that as being useful, um, but an extra 100% of your attack onto your, your ultimate with the weapon, um, and on top of that, it, it increases uh, your 20% attack and defense, so there's a 5% raise there, a 10% raise to the extra damage against the rear, and then you know a 30% raise to that with the weapon. Um, so absolutely um, awesome weapon to get for him. Um, but then Rampage Power, um, yeah, I read that already. Uh, I, I really do have to um, go to KOFBA for the uh, thing here. And uh, yeah, sorry if I get the translation a little bit wrong on what exactly it is. Um, yeah, when he has power of fire, when he's in the back row, it increases your own 20% uh, damage rate. So yeah, your your own 20% damage. Um, all type of attack calls 5% uh, max HP to the target. Uh, and if he's in the front row, he gets power of water, which gives him immune to burn. Uh, increases your own 20% uh, resistance rate restores 12% of your maximum health at the beginning of a round um, and after after Rampage takes effect restore an extra 5% of the maximum health of other combatants around him so people that are top, bottom, or behind or in front uh, but that wouldn't happen with water it'd be behind um, and right here, this is where his uh, rampage kicks in. It says, at a disadvantage, we have fewer people than each other or our own health, which means basically if the match becomes a, a 5v6 in favor of your opponent, um, he will, uh, it says instant rushes away, but he's called instant. So uh, basically Shunny rushes away, uh, he clears his own abnormal state, so he clears all of his debuffs, restores 30% of his maximum health, and gains both powers at the same time. Um, but the exemption rate is permanently reduced by 30%. I don't know what the exemption rate is. Um, if there's only one person on both sides at the time of debut, like in tournament, uh, the initial state of gain two powers... Uh, is there, so he gains both powers in the tournament. Um, if there's a Chinese combatant on our field or in the support team, instant uh, or shunny gains 20% uh, slay resistance in the first round. That's probably ultimate resistance uh, or something like that. I don't know what a Chinese combatant is, I don't know what they mean by that. Um, it's probably a specific fighter type. Probably like Tung Fu, like there's probably like a Chinese fighting team, I think, with the King of Fighters. Um, I think it's like Tung Fu Ru. Um, so if you teamed him up with something like that, he gains like some extra resistance rate in the first round. Um, but yeah, the whole thing is, is that the power of water isn't there. Um, it's the Im immunity burn. Um, increase uh, your 20% damage free rate. But the main thing is the, the rampage, where... Um, when your team becomes at a disadvantage um, or, or your own health is less than 50%, um, he'll rush away. I think I, I can't remember if he leaves the battlefield or if it's just something else, but he clears his own all, all of his own debuffs, restores 30% of his maximum health, and gains both powers at the same time. So it, that's why it's also not a good idea to run him in the front row because if you run him in the back row as like a, a damage dealer like K, um, he will gain uh, the power of water at different points throughout the match, right? Um, so that's the that's the main thing um, with Shunny, is that he will he will be able to gain 
the power of water. Um, and so he'll be able to activate kind of both both things at once, right? Um, when he does his ultimate after that activates, it'll also heal your entire team while doing the extra damage, right? So, um, yeah, he, he's a really, really strong fighter. Um, he's, a ti he's a tiger soul. Um, you know, after all that, I'm like, yeah, he's a tiger soul. But yeah, he's a tiger soul. So, like, you know, that's pretty cool as well. Um, you know... But, uh, no, he, he's overall, like, really good fighter. If you're looking for somebody to um, fill that, that gap in your team, because um, you, need, you need damage, you know, um, every team should have kind of like the, the two damage dealers. There shouldn't just be one, you know. Um, so, you know, he, he, he fills a really good role, um, and especially for Tigers, there's not going to be another Tiger for a long time. Um, so, you know, good luck if you're pulling on him. Um, I'm not going to get into his gates today because I can't really, I don't really un fully understand what's going on, um, with, with the way his character sheet is and everything. I'm going to wait for them to update it and fix it a bit and come back and do a video on his gates probably when I'm more sober and can understand, um, fully what KOFBA is saying to me there because I read that earlier and I was like, no, nah, man, no, no, that's not happening right now. Um, but overall, um, the, the general impression, he's, he's like a more advanced K, you know, I think I've said it a few times, so happy new year guys. Um, hope you're, uh, you're enjoying this shiny video and, uh, I'll see you in the next one and, uh, good luck if you're pulling for him. We'll probably see a, like, really quiet draw, so if you want to get him, you might be able to wait till the last day and then sneak in there with, like, a 70k bid and, you know, um, I don't know. I think it'll be an, a, a cheap draw because everybody spent all their diamonds and they're all taxed out. So, anyways, that's that's about it. I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.